properties of cloning vector what is a cloning vector to understand properties of cloning vector what is a cloning vector must be known a cloning vector is is a carrier of foreign dna fragment carrying desirable gene or genes to the host and help in copying help in insertion and copying it's better to say a cloning vector is a carrier of foreign dna fragment to the host chromosome or inside inside the host genetic material for construction of successful recombinant recombinant dna as well as recombinant cell so in simple words cloning vector is a carrier of the desirable dna fragment or desirable genes uh, into the host cell to construct recombinant cell now what are the properties required for a cloning vector in a uh, properties required in a cloning vector so that it can construct successful recombinant dna or a uh, successful recombinant cell so the properties are it can uh, it must attack or uh, the ability of the vector dna to uh, to grow inside the host number 1 ability of vector dna to survive as well as replicate or multi multiply replicate inside host chromosome or host genetic material high rate of replication or high copy number that is ability to multiply at a rapid rate while carrying foreign dna fragment which leads to formation of many or a high number of desirable dna desirable dna fragment inside host genetic material host cell now what are the features present uh, must be present in ve cloning vectors following features must be present in a cloning 
vector. These are number one origin of replication. origin of replication then selectable marker then cloning sites cloning sites And fourth one, vectors for cloning genes in plants and animals. So these features must be present inside in a cloning vector for successful construction of recombinant cell. Now what is the role of origin of replication? It is the site which helps in starting DNA replication as DNA polymerase recognizes this site. So, a cloning vector must contain origin of replication and the desirable DNA fragment must be attached adjacent to this origin of replication so that along with the vector DNA, the foreign desirable fragment can also multiply within the host cell. Now one more important point, what are the cloning vectors, most commonly used cloning vectors? So most commonly used cloning vectors are plasmid, I told what is plasmid. It is autonomously replicating circular single stranded uh, extra chromosomal DNA present in bacteria. And next one is bacteriophages. These are viruses which attack and inject their genetic material inside bacteria and they replicate inside uh, bacteria. Bas basically bacteriophages are viruses. Now these two are used because they can replicate inside a uh, different uh, organism, spe different species of uh, organism. For example plasmids can replicate inside different um, plasmid and they can also carry foreign desirable DNA fragments. Now coming to origin of replication. So as I told, foreign DNA must be attached adjacent to this site so that along with the vector foreign DNA fragment can also replicate in the host cell and the uh, uh, origin of replication, type of origin of replication can control the copy number that is the amount of uh, um, uh, desirable DNA fragment reproduced or replicated. 
now coming to the selectable marker so first we must know what is selectable marker selectable marker is a specific property uh, present in either plasmid or bacteriophage which helps isolation of transformant or recombinant from the non recombinant cell so selectable marker is the specific property of the vector helping in isolation of transformant transformant or recombinant from non transformant or non recombinant so what is transformation in bracket let me write transformation is the process of transferring genetic material from one cell to from one to another cell in same species in bacteria without direct contact now i just wrote what is selectable marker it it, it is the specific property of uh, of a vector which helps in isolation of transformant from non transformant now how selectable marker helps basically the genes encoding resistance to antibiotics such as ampicillin chloramphenicol tetramycin um tetracycline or kanamycin etc are considered useful selectable markers for e coli the normal e coli cells do not carry resistance against these antibiotics now um se selectable markers antibiotic resistance antibiotic resistance genes or genes coding specific proteins are used as selectable markers as i told for example uh, resistance against uh, ampicillin tetracycline chloramphenicol kanamycin etc now what is antibiotic antibiotic then antibiotic resistance and antibiotic resistance gene antibiotic is a chemical which kills a pathogen or stops it stops it pathogen disease causing agent now coming to antibiotic resistance antibiotic resistance is a property shown by a pathogen by stopping the action of anti biotic and 
also means ability to grow in presence of an antibiotic now coming to antibiotic resistance gene is the gene which controls which helps which helps a pathogen to grow in presence of antibiotic so if i say ampr for example a for example ampr amp r means ampicillin resistance gene ampicillin resistance gene means uh, if i say e coli contains or suppose a bacteria bacterium contains ampr that means it contains ampicillin resistance gene that means uh the will grow in presence of ampicillin a cell or path pathogen or vector anything so ampr if a vector is containing ampr gene that means ampicillin resistant genes that means that specific vector will grow in presence of ampicillin So here you can see MPR and TTR uh, genes.